Hi, Romper. It's me, Ricky Lake. Obviously, the births of my two children are the inspiration of the film. You know, it was it was post 9-11, I was living in New York City, so I had an experience where I witnessed, you know, that trauma of that day firsthand, and that is what kind of prompted me to want to do a project that, that was more personal and, and I felt could be impactful. And I wanted to explore the, the, the world of birth primarily in the United States. And so it was very much like a calling for me to do this project. I didn't, I didn't see the, the forest for the trees. I didn't see that it, would, that it would touch so many people and be so long lasting. It was really like this personal message that I wanted to, to put out in the world. I think one of the most powerful things about the business of being born is the images that women get to see of women like themselves, me, you know, giving birth on their own terms. You know, I think it's really important to see that, oh, that that's a possibility. When you're looking at from 15 years ago, all you could watch on TV was a baby story on TLC, which was women in an emergency situation being saved by the doctor in the hospital. You know, our film really counterbalances those images. When we can take fear out of people when they think of birth, you know, and think of it as more of like this opportunity and this experience, that stays with a mother. That has stayed with me. So it's 15 years later, this is the 15 year anniversary, and Abby Epstein, my brilliant partner and I, plan to do um, really a docu-series. That's the idea, is to preserve the original film and all the content that wasn't in the film, along with looking at the, the state of, of the birth world these days. I mean, in many ways, it's actually even more of a crisis than it was back then. I think it's normal. I think the, the, the birthing process, you know, should be normalized and, you know, we need to reframe it with young people. And I think the movie is a great gateway conversation starter. I mean, I'm hopeful that this new iteration of the business of being born is going to be able to be reaching younger people, you know. It should be seen in sex ed. I really, I really believe it can be an incredible tool for people to normalize natural birth. It's funny, my kids, I mean, on some level, I think they get it, and on another level, it's like, oh, there's their mom. I think on a soul level, it has to mean something to them, that, that their births, you know, them coming into the world has impacted this project that has, has affected so many. To say that people feel compelled to share their birth stories with me is an understatement, and I'm so here for it. Most people are delivering in a hospital these days, but when they get to feel empowered during the process and that they had a better experience because of what they learned from the film, I mean, it's just, it's my honor to, to hear these stories. The legacy of this movie, I feel like it's my legacy because I feel like I was brought here to, 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 to do this work. You know, this film is super personal to me and the fact that it's had this lasting effect on now generations. I, I just, I, I can't believe it. When I made the film 15 years ago, I'm just tickled and beyond proud of the fact that it's just impacted so many people. To hear that people have gone into become a doula or gone on to become a midwife because of the film. It's my proudest achievement of, of anything I've done in my career.